Hey guys, I am here at Todd's Creek and I wanted to take an opportunity to show you a few things that you can see that really well illustrate some of the things we've been talking about in class about channel evolution. So I'm standing here on the outer bend of the little creek and you can see the water's moving pretty good because it's been raining quite a bit. And I'm just gonna pan slowly along this outer bend and then I'm gonna kind of try to shoot it upstream without making anybody nauseated because the camera's moving. And there we go. And one of the cool things to note here is if you look across on the inner bend, look at all of that sand and silt that's depositing along that inner bend. And then over here on the outer bend, it's much deeper, more of a straighter bank, a lot of debris hanging up along the outer bend there with the vegetation, um, the grasses and the kind of dead leaves and material getting stuck on those materials as they go around the corner there. A little bit further down, you can see some water moving relatively quickly. A little clump of dirt has kind of dislodged from the bank, creating a little jump and its own little obstruction in the channel. So we talked about these kinds of riffle pool sequences. Well, there's some riffle material in that bed right there and that kind of clump of soil has narrowed and constricted the channel such that we get some pretty fast moving water and then we got that riffle continuing to aerate and create slightly turbulent conditions as it moves downstream.